Okay, I'm repairing that guy's cylinder head to put it back on this engine here. I'm not going to mention his name, but y'all probably know him. Anyway, he had a bad accident uh, not too long ago where he fell and broke off the welded on intake flange that was right here. So this was the intake that was bolted on to it, similar to that. And uh, this is just a regular, I don't know, maybe Honda or some type of clone casting. I'm not really for sure, but I welded it all up, shaped the chamber, everything. Oh, it is a Honda. ZH8. But anyway, uh, we're replacing it with this warhead, which is, you know, I had welded up and... You see it says gauge there. Step guides, spring pockets cut. Step guides is so, you know, they can't fall no matter what, how hot the head gets or anything. Usually heat is what caused the seats, I mean the guys to fall down, you know, because they just press fit in. But if you have a step at the top, they can't fall no matter what, you know. SRE. I really like these gauge heads because I'm allowed. I, well, I can actually do a little bit more uh, porting than the cast factory heads, you know, so I can raise the runner just a little bit more and widen it just a little bit more so I can get a little bit more runner volume. And I think that'll translate to about a good four to five more CFM. This one already flowed. 112 you know so this one's the easy 115 now you know or more probably around 118 or more of i don't know but uh see the chamber is shaped better because there's no pits from welding you know the chamber comes solid and i like to just show a video because there's no tricks to it you know like a lot of guys have the head on some type of stand at the just perfect angle with a light going through it and everything else but when you get it you just looking at it like okay it looks good you don't have it at that perfect angle you don't know how they're doing it but they have perfectly touched up pictures was perfectly me say man this thing is beautiful man oh man you know but when you show a video from everywhere this is what it looks like, right? There's no tricks to it. There's no special light, you know. Oh, he got a special blue or red light or orange light going through the port to show this and that. No. This is like the naked eye right here. You can just turn it, whatever. Sometimes it's dark. Sometimes it's light. If I turn it this way, you know, you can see it a little bit better or whatever, right? Now. This is a bigger seat than what everybody else run. You pretty much run 32-28. This is 34-28. And these are the valves right here. This is the 28 exhaust. These are longer than stock. And they have two, two lock grooves. Let me see if I can zoom in on that. Okay, that's a little bit better. One is for a lighter spring. And one is for a bigger, taller spring that's heavier. You know, it pretty much uh, uh, one is for 550 lift max and one is for 450 lift max. And you see these are flat face, custom cut. This one even has a 30 degree back cut on the head instead of just a 45, you know. Anybody know about cylinder heads, already know about this stuff or whatever. It's not really that trick. It's just a... I don't know what this would be considered. This would be maybe a stage four head, you know? This is just where I can still use the regular roller rockers on it, you know? It's not that trick, but it's it's better than if you if another guy has just a 3228 head or a 3228 head with welding. This would be a little bit past that, you know? So Typically, I get like 105. These, this would be about another 10 CFM. And it doesn't seem like much, but 10 CFM is about another two horsepower. That's if 
you getting it inside the engine right so if this thing is flowing uh 115 at 550 lift and this one was flowing say 105 at 550 lift but you're only running 500 lift you're only getting in 500 lift worth so this might only be flowing 100 and this one may only be getting in uh what 110 and this one only be getting in 100 so it'll be pretty much like that a lot of people don't understand you know you can flow test ahead to 600 650 700 lift and be like oh man it flows 130 but you're only running 400 lift or 425 lift in the thing so what does it flow at 425 right and you may find out oh man i'm only getting in 96 cfm that's about right that's all you're getting in there you know but when you don't know now you know you look at my video you learn something new today you know now, anybody been on my page, seen me do heart-shaped chamber? Now it's been about at least since 2005, maybe? I don't know. But it's been a long time, right? Probably around 15 years. And uh, nothing's changed. This groove is for sealing. I don't use a head gasket because that's when you got angry customers like, oh, man, I blew the head gasket. It tends to happen all the time. I've been done with that. There's no use of going backwards. You know, leave those headaches for people who just put engines together themselves and can't figure out why I keep blowing head gaskets. Because you reach a certain level where that's the time to blow head gaskets. And it's normally at about 100 CFM uh, going in and 3-inch bore. You know, that's, that's pretty much it. You got the 3-inch. It's going to want to... Uh, get as much air as you as you can throw at it pretty much you know but it will blow the head gasket you know so i just pretty much got a similar this is like a custom intake this is for a 34 carb and uh it's 32 on the back it has a little taper and this is a 32 port actually right and it tapers down to i think 30 and a half or 31 at the seat right here and the only thing left to do is do a valve job so the head is pretty much done just valve job you know and while i'm here i might as well show y'all the difference you see how inside the port i went around the guides right normally i don't do that you know that's called the guide vein right there going across like that and this is the guide vein for the exhaust it looks nice and trick, but it actually hurts flow. If I took that out right there, I would gain another 3 CFM or whatever. It's not that much of a gain, but you would gain, guaranteed gain, right? Because it's more runner volume. More runner volume, even though they'd be like, oh, all he do is hog out ports, right? Okay, I didn't even go argue the fact. Okay, I hog out ports, but I still make more horsepower though, you know? So... It doesn't matter in the end. This head came out better than that head over there. You know, even though that was a good Honda head, you know, with the accident, it just broke and tore all that off. So we'll see uh, how this one goes, you know, looks nice.